There's an annual pest problem, and chances are you've had to keep them away from your plants and shrubs. Yeah, Japanese beetles are on the rise this year. That's right. Andrew DiPaolo has more on what you can do. They are an annual problem across the country, and this year is one of the worst. Right now is kind of where we start to see Japanese beetle feeding ramp up for the year. Japanese beetles seem to be everywhere this time of the year, and they could pose a serious risk to plants and shrubs around your home. Most of what the adults are going to be doing is basically creating more of an annoyance in the appearance of, of the plant. So when adults feed, you typically see like the almost lacy or skeletonized leaf. Shoemaker adds Japanese beetles feed on over 300 varieties of different plants. And if they're an issue for you, there are some common and inexpensive fixes you can find at your local hardware store. Liquids and powders to put on and help kill or deter them from being on your plants. Um, some of these other products are systemic, meaning that you mix them up with water, place them around your plant and throughout the season, it brings those chemicals in so that the stuff that you just spray on doesn't get washed off. It's actually inside the plant. Well, there are plenty of household remedies and even inexpensive products that you could buy to control Japanese beetle populations on your yard. One obvious one, a Japanese beetle trap, may not be as effective as you think. Because what it often does is it attracts many more beetles than it actually catches. So if you don't have a Japanese beetle problem in an extreme portion and you bring a trap in, most likely you're going to end up attracting some more than you'd like. With more local news, I'm Andrew DiPaolo.